Hi everyone, this is number four grief painting. I've decided to do a um, pen image today, just using Sharpie pens, but you can use any kind of coloured pencils or pens that you've got available to you, even crayons. And I was looking at this art therapy exercise um, called the Ball of Grief. And it was basically just um, almost like a scribbled circle of different colours that, where the colours are associated with different feelings. So I thought I'd have a go at doing something similar. So what I've done is I've got an A4 sheet of paper here and I've cut out a hummingbird. It's one of my favourite birds. And in the sort of um, very loose idea that, that, that this beautiful hummingbird will carry away my, I don't know, feelings of grief. So it's a very rough idea, but you know, let's try it. <clears throat> so all I've done is I've cut out, I've used a bit of old sugar paper and I drew the hummingbird on and I've cut it out and I've stuck it down just very loosely with a little bit of Pritt stick because the Pritt stick will allow me to peel this off. You can just hold it in place if you want to. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to choose a colour. I've got a, a set of um, Sharpies here and I'm going to choose the colours and associate them with different feelings. There's lots of artists who use colour to describe different feelings and everybody is aware of, for example, that red means anger and yellow tends to lean towards the sort of happy side of things but that might not be your um, feeling about colour so do what you feel is right and really in the end there's no right or wrong in this so let's start so this morning I woke up I think it's it's nearly three weeks since my mum died and that feeling of waking up and feeling like it's not going to end the 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 grief is not going to end that it's still there you're waking up and it's still there so um even though i associate very many positive things with brown um like soil i've been doing a lot of gardening um and that helps me enormously with my mental health um allowing me to connect with the land and grow things. And at the moment, new life means a lot. But I picked up brown um, because it sort of reminds me of a bit muddy, you know, muddy, um, unclear thoughts, um, thoughts that are out of control. And all I'm doing is I'm drawing over in circles. So it's called grief ball. But, I, you know, normally you would do a ball and you just do repetitive mark making. Um, but I wanted to create something out of it. So the idea is just to build up over the top of these bits of paper here with the hummingbird on a series of circular marks you might decide you want to do actual circles rather than a variety of marks like I'm doing um, you might want to do squares or, or triangles or just sort of lines it's up to you really um, but yeah starting off with the brown a little bit muddy muddy in the head and then a darker color um, let's see now what have we got let's go for a gray I love the color gray but Again, this sort of represents the mugginess of the thought patterns that are going around in my head and that they are moving from one area and sort of projecting outwards without any kind of conclusion. So this feeling of being out of control that I can't control how I feel when I grow when I wake up in the morning is really frustrating for me that um you know everybody has said all my friends have said you know it takes time grief can last for 
a long time and you know that really drives me mental this idea that this is going to go on forever and ever and ever i know the loss of your mother or a, you know a friend or a pet or whatever is supposed to have a huge impact on you but you know the idea that this could go on and on and on for a long time is really frustrating i can't get on with things that i want to get on with i want to go out i want to talk to friends you know the pubs are reopening next week and you know that i just don't feel like i want to do any of those things i've gone into black there but my black doesn't work <laughs> maybe it doesn't want me to go so deep uh let's pick up a dark blue then if my black is not working so really frustration colors coming out of this bird at the moment really frustration frustrated and angry at the longevity of this situation i find myself in i'm normally quite good at controlling how i'm feeling and i tend to sort of think my way out of it um, but whatever is happening at the moment is really interfering with that control of how I feel. Okay, now let's go into, so the next stage, once I'd sort of finally woken, woken up properly, was to sort of do the normal thing, which is sort of pull yourself together, try and get on with doing some stuff. And once I got myself up and out of the bedroom, I started to feel a little bit lighter, but then I was asked some questions, uh, as in, what do you want to do today? Da, 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 da. And, you know, to be frank, I don't want to do anything. I really just don't want to do anything at the moment. That involves going out, having a walk. I mean, walking just reminds me of Lewis, my dog who died. And um, the weather is really lovely at the moment. And it's sort of forcing me to be positive when I don't want to be positive. So the weather, I'm going to represent the weather as orange. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful weather. And the nice thing about these pens is that they work on top of one another, which is really lovely. Um, so the weather is really annoying me at the moment. I mean, that just sounds awful, doesn't it? But the weather, I wish it was raining and I wish it was cold and horrible. Um, but the weather is just doing the opposite. It's spring, it's April, it's the end of April. And the weather is just so beautiful and all the flowers are all growing and I keep getting sent pictures of flowers growing and other people's gardens looking gorgeous and the local garden centre opened and that's just so brilliant. Uh, but, you know, I look at the sun and I just sort of feel like saying, please... Can you stop? Can you halt? Can you wait for me to recover? Instead of just carrying on, I want to recover and I want to do it in my own time, but it's trying to, it's forcing me to think about those things moving on, which I don't want to do at the moment. We had a lovely thing yesterday, though, so I'm going to represent the lovely thing with, um, what should we do? <clears throat> I should really pick a colour that is associated with that lovely thing, but um, I'm going to pre use a nice, vibrant green. And the lovely thing was a quail coming into the garden, and it came in through the fence at the back, out of the field, and it hung out in the garden, and it was just the most beautiful, lovely, lovely, lovely thing. I'm gonna put this down the bottom right-hand side. 
I'm going to have it going over a bit of my grief here and just build it up and maybe incorporate a little bit of yellow into that to make it even more vibrant. And the quail hung out in the garden we, and allowed it allowed us to watch it for about half an hour. It had some sunflower seeds and then it toddled off back into the field. Absolutely lovely. So that was a really lovely, positive thing. We also had, I'm just gonna hold my beak down here a bit because I want that beak to be quite solid. We also had some lovely vegetables from the garden. Some nice, the, the last of the leeks. So again, that, that makes me feel healthy. Uh, it makes me feel good that I've grown those leeks myself and I'm eating them. So that's a really lovely positive thing to have happened yesterday. But it still didn't have an impact on <clears throat> how I was feeling this morning. So a little bit more pink there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What, well, yeah, we should move into, uh, let's have a think now. Got so many colors to choose from, sometimes it's difficult. Maybe that's one of the problems. <laughs> There's so many ways of going with this, but. So now I'm here, I'm doing this exercise. <clears throat> and it's reminding me of many things. One is that I'm just going round and round and round in circles. This grief is not playing out in the way that I want it to play out. Again, I'm trying to control the situation and I can't seem to let go. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to go and do some work tomorrow. And I'm hoping that will help me a little bit. But it will only be a distraction. I know that. It will only be a distraction. I've got purple here. I, you know, I find purple quite a joyous colour. But in amongst all this dark grief. It isn't quite doing things for me. So, some big size today. Maybe it's just one of those days. One of the positive things that I've had happen to me in the last couple of days is, I'm going to represent this with a lime green, is that I've stopped crying as much. So that could be a good a good outcome. I don't know. I don't know whether that's a good thing or not, you know. But I don't seem to be sort of crying through remembering like I was doing last week. So like with my dog the difficulty I have, I have is that I'm still in the same house and I just see him everywhere and I can't even go for a walk, you know, because walking was about him, really. He, he would get us out. So I'm finding that difficult. I'm still not able to talk to other people about this, but, you know, I've, at least I've got this um, outlet here. So there's my ball of grief. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's got some light areas, some dark areas. So I'm hoping that that will improve over time, that I'll become more lighter. But, you know, I've been watching, I've been listening to a thing called Grief Cast, which is a load of comedians talking. I was recommended it by my sister, my very kind sister. And um, it's comedians talking um, on a podcast basically about grief and it's been really really good just to listen to other people talking about their experiences 
but when they say things like I'm just going to reveal this little bird hopefully it won't have stuck too badly if it has it doesn't matter um, so this is the big reveal as they say um, yeah you know they, they sort of say they all have different experiences but a lot of them say you know 10 years you know and I'm just going god 10 years you know they're still missing the person they're still and I understand that but you know it just the idea of grief going on for that long really pulls at me so I'm hoping that that won't happen that it won't you know that the happy memories will come back and I will remember my mother in a positive way rather than in this negative grief way. She'd be so horrified that we were so sad. Anyway, okay, so I've just loosened my bird <laughs> and here we go. I quite like the drawing just on the, on the bird itself, but there we go. I've got a few bits of paper that I need to scratch off there. But you know, that's, that's the idea that this bird is flying through the grief you know these are my <laughs> my ideas you might find them ridiculous but they are helping me these little exercises are helping me so this is called the circle of grief but I've turned it into the hummingbird of grief I hope that this little bird will help me fly through this mess that I'm in at the moment and I hope it helps you just to express yourself creatively a little and have a go and if you want to send me your pictures or ask any questions then just let me know all right have a good rest of the sunday and i'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>